Hello my beautiful diamonds. Sheila True Love here and I was looking at this video with this very uh, amazing uh, gentleman here and he was saying if men understood the dynamics of women they would never ever have a problem with another woman again in their life. And it, it has to do with a man's energy like he says you know. Uh, let me let him tell you. Let me let him um, uh, share his, his info with you. And I agree with him except for one point where he says it's not easy being single. Well, it's not easy being single for men. But when it comes to women, yeah, honey, it is way easier and so much more healthy. Studies, the numbers, data, research, it proves that. But anyway, here we go. The amount of men on this app that are just like, just leave her, like it's not worth it. Why are you bothering to try and save your relationship? Just leave her, just throw her away, get another one, right? It's easier. Or just be without a woman. Like, it absolutely blows me away the point that men have got to in relationships that they would rather just throw it away than actually make an effort. Like, what's happened to men? Like, where has the determination gone? Where has the purpose gone? Where has the insistence gone? Where has the the desire to actually do something difficult gone. Like relationships aren't easy. They're not easy. But neither is being single. Yes, it neither is. is being hurt. You know, it's like, I see all these red pill guys and I see all these incel guys and it's like, oh, it's the woman's fault. And uh, women are not worth it. It's, it, 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 it. She's not your woman, it's just your turn, right? This just goes to show a basic miss or not understanding of relationship dynamics. Like, if guys understood, if men understood the amount of power they have to influence not only their relationship with their wife, but all of their relationships in life, they wouldn't be throwing it all away, right? And the lack of desire to have self-reflection and think about exactly why their relationship is failing and how much it's got to do with themselves and their own energy. Like, what's happened to men? Like... What's happened to men that they've become so weak that they'd just rather throw it away than actually do some work? Like, I encourage guys to go and read the comments on the videos that I put out there and read what women are saying, saying, oh, I wish my man understood how much his energy influences me. I wish he understood this. Because it's absolutely insane that you, instead of having a fulfilling relationship and actually look at the way you show up as a man, you'd just rather throw it all away. Like, what's the matter? What's the matter? Are you afraid of hard work? Is that what it is? Are you afraid of actually opening up? Are you afraid of showing your emotions? Are you afraid? And don't give me the excuse of I showed my wife my emotions once and she used it against me. No, she didn't. What you did is you cried to her like a little boy because you're weak and she saw that and thought, God, I don't need this weak ass man by my side. Like showing your emotion is not the same as crying to your mum. Like they are two completely different things. And this is going to piss a lot of guys off and I don't give a shit because... When I read the comments of a lot of men on my on my page, it sickens me to think that I am actually of the same species as you. Most of you don't even know what it's like to go out of your way to do some work. You'd rather be alone and nobody bothering you to act than to actually self-reflect and look at the way you show up with your energy. Like if you understood the power you hold as a man, if you were even bothered about understanding relationship dynamics, you would never have a problem with a woman again, ever in your life. But you don't care. Now that is a man who finally figured it out. That these men's energy is causing so many of their relationships to fail. And when it comes to these red pill dudes, these red pill dusties, they are being seen as weak and powerless. And I don't even like to say men, uh, males. Let's just say males. Because just because you're a male, that does not make you a man. You're just a boy. A lot of these uh, characters out here are nothing but broken little boys running around who are too lazy to put in the work to get the healing that they need. You know, you see this man here. I'm sure, like he said, well, he said, uh, being um, alone is hard. It's hard for men. It's healthier for women. You know, being single is healthier for women. But when it comes to men, let's just use common sense here. There's a reason why God created a woman as a man's helper because it's apparent, it's very apparent that they need the help. 
because when it comes to using their main head, their big head, they have a problem with that because they're so busy being led by their little head. And that's sad. They don't care about God, Jesus, wife, children, family. They don't give a damn as long as they appease and please that little head, that eggplant. That's the most important thing to them. And it's causing them problems. Now, when it comes to a man's energy, I have got to agree with this man. I, I, I don't like the men. I don't like a lot of these men's energy. Their energy is just so, it's filled with hatred. They're so abrasive, you know, they're so aggressive. They need to learn how to be more gentle when you're dealing with women and children and bring out that Roman warrior when you're dealing with other men. I get it. But I don't like them because they're so harsh. When they talk to you, it's harsh. You know, there's another video I want to share with you and, and it makes so much sense. Now take a look at this video here. I took the sound off because it has music and it's copywritten music and you can't really uh, play that. But, you know, you have a lot of men who are not only physically abusive. Take a look at this. Yeah, and look at her body. Look at this woman's arm. Look at her face. Look at her arms. What the hell is that? This is this is just an outrage, you know. Um, I, I like I, I just say, women, why are you still sitting around here talking about I just gotta have a man without a man, life ain't worth living. And I know you have a lot of men that don't go to these extremes, but you have a lot of men who do. In fact, when they looked at the numbers, you know, when we was on lockdown with COVID, the divorce rate rose, domestic violence cases was the phones was blowing off the hook. There were so many cases of domestic violence when people were forced to stay in the house and stay together. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's do that. Never ever let a man put his hands on you. If he hits you, he'll do some worse. You put your life in jeopardy. Going back to an abusive man. Do you want peace and joy? Stop messing with a little boy. Punching wall. Knocking your windows out. Tearing up your car. Stealing your money. Stealing your time. Sister, listen to big brother. I won't tell you nothing wrong. I won't lie to you. Because when I talk to you, your life is in my hand. And I know you listening to me. So I ain't going to tell you nothing wrong. I want to lead you on like that to get hurt. I'm telling you to leave now. Don't think about it. Just go. If he don't understand, he just don't understand. If he can't see that he doing wrong, then you need to go on. He ain't raised right. He bitter. He wants you to be stuck with him and not have nobody else. Because he know a real man is coming for you. And he trying to block your blessing. Once you leave him alone, watch how your life change. No more losses. No more losses. There is no amount of love you can get. Once a man starts to abuse you, there is no amount of love you can give him to make him stop. Now, this is what happens when you have a narcissistic boyfriend or ex-boyfriend who is a woman beater and you catch him and you catch him with another man. And this is what he does. What the fuck you mean when I saw man? I, I went out with my friends. I'm sorry. What the fuck you mean when I, I saw man? I went out with my friends. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. It's not a big I saw, I saw your fucking location. Okay, Where were you? Yeah, I was out with my friends. Where? I was out. Let's fucking go. What the fuck you mean when I saw man? I, I went out with my friends. I'm sorry. What the fuck you mean when I, I saw man? I was out with my friends. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. It's not a big Like I said, I don't like their energy. I, I can't stand it. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, men like this, they deserve to, to rot in jail. Please. 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 Please.
Like, you literally are not capable of, like, not doing or saying some dumb shit. I literally am trying to explain to you why you might want to reconsider and you, like, are immediately disrespectful and manipulative. You know, I was married to a, a nice guy who was pro-therapy. I'm going to tell you guys what that was like for me. I remember when we first got together, everybody was so excited because he was such a nice guy. Everybody was like, oh my god, Christine, we've seen you in just such a string of terrible relationships. We're so happy to see you with a nice guy. And I remember the first time I confronted him on treating me poorly in front of our friends at dinner one night and him slamming on the car brakes to intimidate me because he's such a nice guy. I remember the first time he tried to tell me who I could and could not spend time with. And when I pushed back, he escalated so viciously that he started hitting himself, threatened to kick me out of our apartment, threatened to call the police on me, and threatened to drain our joint banking account because he's such a nice guy. And, you know, when I would talk to people around me about this, they'd be like, oh, God, I'm so surprised to hear this, but he's such a nice guy. But you know what? Relationships do bring out the worst in us sometimes, you know? And maybe there's something that you're doing to trigger him because, you know, he's such a nice guy. I remember the first day that suddenly there could not be any dishes in the sink anymore when he got home from work because, you know, his parents were hoarders and he grew up in filth and he just could not have a dirty environment. Never mind the fact that the apartment he was living in before we got together was a pigsty. When he lived alone, it was fine, but suddenly there's a woman in the house and he's got to have order. Everything's got to be in its place. Everything has to be spick and span. That's what he needs, you know, to feel emotionally secure. That's what he needs from me in order to show up in our relationship and start giving me the emotional intimacy that I want, you know? And you know how great of him to communicate that to me because he's such a nice guy. I remember one fight we had where I walked away from him and closed the bedroom door behind me and he punched a hole in that door. And I thought I was done then and I thought I would be supported in being done then. But, you know, he threw the curveball of couples therapy and everybody and their mom was like, oh my God, <gasps> he's willing to heal for you. My husband won't even go to therapy. What a nice guy. I didn't want to do couples therapy with this man, but everybody told me that I was being difficult and unfair to him, so I did it. And I remember when our couples therapist asked him to look me in the eyes and realize that all of his behavior was harming me. And I remember seeing the resentment in his eyes as he was being told by a professional that he was not, in fact, entitled to treat me the way that he had been for so long because he was such a nice guy. And, you know, like towards the end of our marriage, when I started to get like lean and fit and like feel really confident in my body and start to show my body off for the first time ever as an adult, it was, oh, babe, you're getting thin. I can see your ribs right now. He's just looking out for my health, you know, because he's such a nice guy. And after lying to me and emotionally manipulating me and emotionally terrorizing me for about seven years, after our divorce was finalized, he went and sat in front of my parents like a beat dog and was basically like, I'm so sorry that I was not enough for your daughter, you know, because he's a nice guy. You know, I really enjoyed uh, that last um, content uh, that I shared with you. You know, this is for all the women who have fallen for the nice guy. You know, in this world, you have to know that there's a difference between a good man and a nice man. There's a huge difference between people who are good and people who are nice. You see, good, that's genuine. That's someone who has an amazing personality, character. They have great morals and great values and they're decent. And they apply Matthew chapter 7 verse 12, which tells us to treat people the way that you want to be treated. Don't do to people what you don't want done to you. And that person exercises that. That's a good person. Now, a nice person or a nice guy, as she said, <laughs> that's just somebody who's putting up a front, somebody who's just going through the motions, somebody who's just very, so a lot of times, they can be manipulative. I like to believe that I'm a good person and a nice person because what I do is genuine. You know, even though, Sometimes I may say things that may hurt your feelings a bit. Not that that is my intention. It never really, it never, never is. Hopefully it's not your, your perception and the way you chose to take it, you know. 
But uh, there is a huge difference between a good guy and a nice guy. And like I said, when it comes to uh, a lot of the men out here, they have to realize that their energy, it's too abrasive, it's too aggressive, it's too harsh, it's too, f it's full of mean. They, they have a lot of, they, they, they're mean. And, 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 and their, 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 their energy is hatred. You know? Ugh, I don't know. It's just, ugh, child. But yeah, their energy is what's causing so many of their marriages and their relationships to fail. Diamond Diamonds, that's some diamonds for you.